Hello 6R, you all know who I am, Mrs Rains, and I'm going to be your teacher next year. Apologies for the hat, but I've got terrible lockdown hair. Hopefully that will be sorted for September. Okay, so a few things about me. One thing you probably do know about me um, is that I absolutely love reading. Every year I set myself a challenge to read as many books as I can. And I've done very well this year so far. Lockdown has helped. Okay, my favourite book that I've read this year is a book called The Way Past Winter by Vashti Hardy. It's a wintry book set in a kind of um, northern fantasy land. It contains wolves and magic and it's um, beautifully written. Um, another thing about me is that I love spending time with my family. I've got three grown-up children who aren't at home very often. Well, certainly not all together. But when we do get together, we like playing board games. Um, I'm not very competitive and I never, ever win. But it's the taking part that counts. I absolutely love teaching Year 6. It's such an exciting year. You start off as a primary school child and by the end of the year you're ready for secondary school, a lot more independent, a lot more grown up. And it's wonderful seeing the journey that you all take throughout one school year. Okay, so let me tell you some things about being in year six. As well as me, the other adults in year six are Miss Bocott, Mrs O'Neill, Mrs Chowdhury and Mrs Nielsen. So this will be your classroom next year. It's bright and sunny and because there will only be 16 of you, you will all have plenty of space. We're really lucky to have this area in between our two classrooms. Not only do we have our own library, we also have some computers that you can use to do accelerated reader quizzes and research during topic lessons. I think the best thing about our classrooms is that Year 6 is separate from the rest of the children in the school. This means that we can get on with our work in peace and quiet. But the worst thing about our classrooms is that we are very close to Mr Hickey and Mrs Edwards, so we have to work in peace and quiet. And now for some things that may be important now you're in Year 6. You may be getting phones for Christmas or for your birthdays, but make sure that you use them responsibly. Don't bring your phones into school without permission and make sure you switch off your devices an hour before bedtime so that you get plenty of sleep. We have loads of work to do and I don't want you getting tired. SATs. Everybody talks about SATs in Year 6, but they're nothing to worry about. All they are are assessments in math, spelling and grammar and reading. Every Year 6 class does them. They happen in May, so towards the end of your time at primary school. And they only test you on what you have been taught. We do loads of practice beforehand, so by the time you get to take them, you're really ready. In fact, this year's Year 6 were really disappointed that they weren't able to show just how much they knew and how much they'd learnt through their time at school. Reading will continue to be a focus in Year 6. It's important that you read every night, that you share your reading with an adult and that you complete quizzes regularly. When you've finished a quiz, you can put a sticker on the chart to show just how many books that you have read. That helps us and it helps you to keep on top of your reading. So, homework in Year 6, reading, reading, reading. Practicing your times table rock stars and mathletics at home. Learn weekly spellings. And just like before, one piece of homework from the homework grid every two weeks. In my opinion, the three topics that we do this year are the most exciting ones in the whole school. In order to answer the question, does change always lead to progress? We're going to concentrate our learning on the changes that took place as a result of the Industrial Revolution in Britain. We'll find out what industrialisation means, what the impact of the steam engine and the railways had and the invention of electricity. We also look at evolution and find out how animals need to adapt to changes in their environment, particularly those caused by human activity. 
With reading, we're going to start off with Clockwork by Philip Pullman. Philip Pullman is one of my favourite authors. And the book, Clockwork, is fantastic. It's quite short, it's full of gothic imagery and really spooky language. And we'll use this as an inspiration to write our own gothic fairy tale. After that, we'll read Cogheart, which is a modern adventure story that's set in a kind of Victorian world. It's a steampunk adventure story. Our art and DT and music this term is going to all be linked to machinery. So there's loads to do and it is really great fun. After Christmas in the spring term, we're going to answer the question, what would a world without war look like? Once again, this is mostly a history topic. We look at the effects of war on civilians. In particular, we focus on World War II and we look at its causes and then its effects, the blitz, the evacuation of children and the role of women during the war. Our whole class reading book is The Boy at the Back of the Class which is set in the present day and is a story about a Syrian refugee. Last year's Year 6 absolutely loved this book. Uh, then, after half term, we study another book about a refugee. This book is called When Hitler Stole Pink Rabbit. But this time, the refugee is a little girl who is fleeing from Nazi Germany. In writing, we'll look at newspaper reports and we'll also write some description based around the Blitz. In science, we study light, how it travels and the properties of light, and how they are used for defence in war. Finally, in the summer term, we try to answer the question, what is the secret to success? Everything we do is about looking forward to moving on to secondary school. We find out about how to keep our bodies and minds healthy through science, DT and PE. And we study the lives of successful people to see what we can learn from them. In whole class reading, we're going to study a book about a boy wizard who leaves home to go to wizarding school. But it's not the book that you think it might be. Well, that's me. Um, I hope you have a lovely summer. I'm looking forward to seeing all of you in September. Take care and bye.